Hi everyone, I am Hosanna David. Welcome to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. As, sorry, I have been trying to connect online, but um, I had data challenge. The connection was not so strong, so I had to recharge. Uh, thank you for your patience. I had a dream and a vision about the rapture, and it is it shook me so much that I cried in the dream. First of all, I was discussing with a sister and on phone. And while we were talking, I was in my other room and I I, I was looking at it at the door handle and my eyes were open. I saw rapture written on it on the door handle. And I was kind of, is this a vision or what? Because physically, there was nothing like rapture written on it. It was just a plain uh, door handle. So I was contemplating, did my eyes deceive me? Or I know I've seen visions like that with my eyes open and the Lord would just reveal something to me. And what I do when I see visions like that, I pray to get confirmation and ask the Lord to confirm what is revealing to me. So I was kind of, oh, probably my eyes actually deceived me because I wasn't sleeping, I was discussing on the phone. A few days later, that was yesterday, okay, I had that vision on Saturday, then yesterday, which was actually Monday, I had a dream yesterday night. While I was dreaming, I was preaching to people. I was outside and preaching to people and telling them about the rapture. I said, please, the rapture is about taking place. Please repent of your sins. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Please get ready. The world is old enough. The rapture is here. Please, it is very, very close. As I was talking to the people, I in that dream, I referred to the, to the vision I had, which I wasn't very, very sure of. And I said... I, I was discussing with a sister, and uh, as I, as with my two eyes open, I saw the rapture written on the door handle, and I was so very, very convinced that it was a vision. And I was telling people. Then I, I, I was crying. So immediately, I brought out my phone. I said, "Okay, let me stream live and." Uh, maybe if people see my tears, they will know that it is a very serious issue. So I started crying and I was, I, I tried to stream live, but I didn't um, complete the streaming. Uh, I didn't complete starting, uh, I did start streaming before uh, I woke up from the dream. This is a dream that I had. Uh, why I didn't actually take the vision serious is because uh, I am very, very careful when it comes to saying this is what the Lord says, because I know that we are human beings and that for us to receive messages, transmitting messages from the spirit into the physical, sometimes we could make mistakes. So we have to be very, very careful so that we don't say thus says the Lord. Meanwhile, it is just uh, it's not God that actually spoke to us. Our spirit can talk to us. Sometimes we can have feelings. Sometimes I don't say uh, I'm feeling. Uh, I feel that the Lord wants to. No, I, I don't use my feelings. I rely on what the Lord tells me. And this is how I have lived my life. I believe that anytime we say, thus says the Lord, the Lord actually is speaking or he has spoken. And we are relating exactly what he has said to the world. When people lie against the Lord, I, I classify it as blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. So I am very, very careful not to say, thus says the Lord, when the Lord has not spoken. I know it is a sin, and lying against the Holy Spirit is self-deception, and it is blasphemy. We don't need to lie to preach Jesus Christ to people. Rather, we should wait until the Lord has spoken to us before we say the Lord has spoken. Sometimes I know I pray about situations and the Lord would not even say anything. And the person that says, help me pray about this and get me reports if the Lord says anything. The person could be waiting for a long time and the Lord will not even say anything. Rather, uh, sometimes you're praying about 
For instance, Mr. John, and you are seeing something about Sister Mary, it happens like that. So it is not automatic, and we have to be careful. We ministers of God, when we say, the Lord is telling me now, we should be careful because sometimes uh, people use this thing to lie against the Holy Spirit. So that was why I didn't actually take the first vision. The vision that I had, I didn't take it very seriously because I felt probably it could be my eyes just deceived me. I, I, I wasn't very sure whether it was a vision. Now, coming back to the rapture issue, we know Revelation chapter 22, verse 7 says, Behold, I come quickly. The Lord says he's coming quickly. One thing we need to understand is that the Lord is not living in time. He is living in eternity. Time is a fragment of eternity. The Lord is not living in time. So when he says, I come quickly, quickly to him, uh, could be 2,020 years. It could be 30,000 years. It could be 1,000 years. It could be as 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 small as five days the bible says that a thousand years is like a day in the sight of the lord and uh, uh, it's a day is like a thousand years in the sight of the lord so that describes the time of eternity we are living in time and the fact that jesus christ has stayed for over two thousand years and we haven't seen him does not mean that he's not going to return again the truth is that the lord is very very much ready now let me tell you another thing i had while i was thinking about the covid 19 the coronavirus issue i was hearing while i was uh, uh, meditating and thinking about it i was hearing i am coming very very soon i am coming very very soon Behold, I am coming very, very soon. The coming of the Lord is here. The coming of the Lord is near. The coming of the Lord is here. Uh, is near. This is what I was hearing. Now, um, I just remember something. Now, I don't know if I could still find it on my on my phone. I, I got a message from a sister. I don't actually know who the sister is, but I got a message from her, a text message that a sister sent me. And I feel that... I should read it, though it wasn't my plan to actually read this message to you. But uh, yes, the message is here. Let me read it. Uh, I don't know who the person is, but the number is uh, plus 1403, either from uh, this shoe, either be from the US or Canada. I walk around 1 a.m., began to pray. The, only thing I could think of asking God is, is my name written in the book of life? I repeatedly asked God, is my name written in the book of life? Please, it may seem absurd or foolish of me to write this and send you in the middle of the night. Seek Jesus Christ before it's too late. You are receiving this message. You are receiving this because you... You are in my contact list. No one will miss the, the te this test as long as I, ha I have your number. Let's see God give him a chance while he may be found. Let's see God give him a chance while he may be found. I am sorry if I have wronged you in any way. Forgive me. I'll be answerable for not sharing about Jesus Christ with you and being a true example, God, good morning. This is a message I got from someone who sent me this message. Uh, I don't actually know if this person is a sister or brother, but it's either from the U.S. or from Canada. Please, let's get ourselves ready. I know it could be very, very hard sometimes to uh, keep following the Lord, he is a perfect God and we are imperfect human beings living in a world that is full of so many fears, a world that is full of so many evil things. But we have to know that this world is not our own. The world is shaking. Nations are melting on their knees because of what just happened because of the COVID-19. We've never seen anything like this. As I am talking to you now, I'm in a lockdown. I'm indoors. Uh, uh, I stayed here, everybody is shut in for two weeks. We don't even know if there will be an extension. This is the second day 
of the of the lockdown. Uh, let's be ready. We we don't know if this is actually shaking the world and drawing people to Christ, so that when it returns. Uh, awareness must have been created and people are drawn back to God so that those who will make the rapture will, will, will be handful a bit. A lot of people don't actually think about the return of Jesus Christ. And I tell you, and I will continue to say this, that many of those who think they are Christians and are going to church will definitely end up in hell. But it shouldn't be a portion. You that is watching, it shouldn't be your portion. Because why am I saying this? Unfortunately, uh, those who are supposed to, those who are supposed to uh, lead us to Christ, uh, many of them are the very ones that uh, have sold their souls to the devil and uh, drawing people away from the kingdom of God. Uh, I can't say everything, but I know that the Lord is angry and that many souls are going to hell. Just yesterday, I was talking with a man who repented from, he was in secret societies, he was he, he was in different kind of religion. So I was talking to him yesterday, a man of late, in his late 60s, I even asked him if I could, if he could grant me interview, then he said yes, but I feel uh, a little while from now, um, he will be strong enough to actually uh, come out with his testimony because he's just a, a new convert and he's, he's not actually uh, had enough time for God because he's having some financial challenges. Uh, so uh, when he's strong enough, I'm going to uh, interview him. Uh, what did he tell me? He told me that he, he used to do, he was deeply into hypnotism and he mentioned a very big church that the pastor, they actually set up the church that they use hypnotism to call members to the church that once you enter the church compound, nothing will ever make you to go out of the church, that any day you don't go to the church, you, you, you will feel that you are not complete and that he was part of setting up the church, the foundation member of the church and that they were using hypnotism. So I asked him, as a man of God still using hypnotism today, he said very much yes, and that he has gone even deeper into hypnotism. This is what is happening in the church today. I know there are good men of God, but I want to tell you, they are very, very, very few. Very, very, very few. And it is a pain that the Ark of Noah that's supposed to take us out of the flood, the ark of Noah is full of wolves in sheep clothing, people who are in, not to save, but people who are in, not because they want to be part of the kingdom of God, but because they actually want to prevent people from entering the kingdom. They are like the scribes and the Pharisees. They, are, they don't want to go in and they don't want any other person to go in. I want to tell you that Satan and his uh, false prophets have taken a very large part of the church. They are occupying the temple of God and they are deceiving people. They don't want to tell you that Jesus Christ is coming back again. They want to deceive you to tell you that if you give your life to Christ, you will make money. If you, uh, if, 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 if you give money to them, nothing will happen to you and they are deceiving people and taking your money and also taking your crown. Not because they want to wear your crown, but they don't want you to enter the same way they themselves have resolved not to enter. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Heaven is per head. Don't think that the Lord is going to ask every one of us when we stand before him on the last day, how did all of you or perform on earth. No, he is going to ask us individually, individually, how did you use your talent? Remember the parable of the talents. He asked them to give account individually. It's never a collective thing. So let's not think that because 
the whole church is living, uh, majority of people in church are living their lives the way they want. So we should live our lives like that. It is never like that. Remember that broad is a way that leads to destruction. It is very, very broad. It is this gospel of prosperity way that come as you are and remain as you are. It doesn't matter anything. This video is getting too long. I'm going to come live again. I've recharged and I'm going to come live again. And, and I'm going to tell you something about, uh, I just wanted to be online. I will stop this video for now and come online again and tell you uh, and something entirely different, immedi almost immediately. Uh, there is someone that says, how uh, can I send you money? Please look at the description box. Uh, you will see a link there, uh, www.eagleayopuna.com slash give. Uh, or you can visit our website, eagleayopuna.com. Uh, you will see uh, where you can give and support. Uh, thank you so much. I never asked for it. God bless you. Please share this video. And don't forget to claim yourself. God bless you. Bye-bye.